Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we are going to finish up this windshield fairing and move on. Now you might notice I have primed the fairing with that gray primer surfacer. And this is really where you get to kind of see what it looks like and you get to see any imperfections. It's just too difficult to see when everything is different colored before it's kind of all one color. And one of the things you'll notice, or that I noticed, is right where I've kind of drawn this pen line here, the fairing is too thick or too wide. It's a lot wider than here and down here. So what I need to do where this black line is, I just need to sand off a little bit, almost about an eighth of an inch from about there to there. One of the other things you might notice here, you can see sanding marks in here from my sanding block. I think there's one here and, and one here and up here. So that was really hard to, to see before I primed it. And now once it's primed, it really is visible. So I'll mix up a little icing and fill that in and I can sand it off. One other small area I want to work on is right here where I drew this pen line. And again, the fairing just a little bit wider here than it is here or here. So if I sand off a little bit of this corner, it'll even out. I now have it trimmed exactly where I want it. Mine is two and a half inches wide all the way around. And I actually had to take about a quarter of an inch off the bottom here. You can see where I drew the line. So the next step now that I have the gray primer on here is to go through and fill all the little scratches like that. And you're never gonna be able to see it on here, but there's some pinholes and things like that in various spots here. So it's time to mix up the icing and fill those in. And the nice thing about that icing is it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes for it to dry and I can sand it smooth again. Here's what it looks like now after I've sanded that icing off. And you can see I've done quite a bit of sanding. 
Don't be afraid to sand it. That's what this filler primer is for. It's made for sanding. And of course, there's some spots that I missed, so I'll have to go back in a few spots and add some more icing. And I'll give it another final coat of the gray just to make sure I didn't miss any other spots. And then it would be ready for paint. So if you're making a fairing, don't be afraid to keep working at it and filling and sanding until you've got it perfect. Okay, here's the final installation, or the final version, I should say. Now, I have some evenly spaced out screws, and right now, these are just uh, sheet metal screws holding that in. They do look pretty nice. It's the same screws that all the other fairings will be held on by, but I think when I, after everything's painted and I install this for the final time, I think I'm probably going to use these black screws. And these aren't sheet metal screws, there'll be a little nut on the back. These are uh, 440s. But I think black screws would look good on there. And I think for this fairing, I'd rather have uh, a screw and a nut rather than uh, sheet metal screws. So I think the whole thing looks really good on there. It does a nice job of holding down the windshield. And it will look good once it's all painted and the airplane's painted and everything's going together it's going to look great well there's no question that when you start doing things like making custom fairings it does add considerably to the build time of the airplane but in my opinion once it's done and you look at the results and you're really happy with your work and it looks great on the airplane to me it's really worth the extra time so I know this fairing has been split up over like three or four videos but it's finally done it's really just ready for the green paint and I'll paint that when I paint the other parts that need painted. So well, that is it for this video, guys. The next video I'm going to have is going to be on my engine choice for the Zenith Super Duty. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Honestly, it really doesn't matter, and I'll see you on the next video.